license plate recognition, LPR or ANPR, depending on where uh, you live, is the ability of a camera to scan a number plate and then report on that particular number. And this is something that's undergone some massive leaps forward in the last few years at Vercada. Just to give you a, an idea about it, license plate recognition will work when you get one of our bullet cameras, so that's the CB5 or 6 series, turn on the mode itself, and then utilize command or the APIs to view the data. And just to give you an idea, when I joined Vercada, the license plate recognition did take a lot of setting up. So you'd have to point and zoom the bullet camera and make sure that the image is as close as possible to the number plate itself. And back then we only supported a single lane and vehicles traveling with less than 20 miles an hour. Luckily, these days, I don't need to do a lot of fiddling because um, we can cover with our new bullet series, that's the CB52 and 62, up to three lanes, and the cars can move with even 80 miles an hour. Let me show you how easy it is to set up and command. So you'd go into a bullet camera that's uh, up and running, you see it just looks like a regular uh, Vercada device. You plug in the settings and then in within the analytics, you enable license plate recognition. Once you click yes, it takes a couple of minutes for the camera to download the right firmware and reboot itself. And you're probably now wondering why does it actually have to do that? And this is because at the moment, the actual AI requires a specific settings in order to make sure that the reading is as accurate as possible. So even if you can discern the actual numbers and letters by looking at the footage, that doesn't actually mean that the device is able to read the number plate. So when the camera goes into LPR mode, it will look black and white because it goes in night mode. The IR sensors turn on even during the day to reflect of the number plate and the shutter speed. And that is because when cars are traveling very, very fast, we want to avoid any sort of motion blur. So let's look in within the settings. The great part about this is that although we do have a big license plate recognition guide to run you through some of the things such as, for example, the best angles for reading, you're actually presented with those recommendations when you set up the camera. So I'm quite happy with that particular angle. The car is gonna be quite close to the camera. Obviously I can use optical zoom and I can further uh, do that with one of the TE telephoto models. And optionally, I can select a region of interest. Now this was actually critical for uh, the old generation license plate recognition, that one that's available on the uh, series one bullets. Uh, but now looking at series two, the only reason that you'd actually do that is, for example, if you want to discard certain plates being read. Maybe you're putting this, um, looking at a particular car park with loads of stop vehicles, or uh, part of the frame looks at a busy road and you don't want the number of plates to be read. This is where the region of interest would come into use. I'll click next. And the one last thing is to add an optional context camera. And the reason being is that, again, the LPR camera is focused only on capturing the number plate itself. Uh, so you might actually be missing key parts of the activity. For example, uh, who was in the car at the time or what happened around it. So this is where you'll be able to optionally select a camera that looks in that particular area. So in my case, I might, for example, select a camera that's looking partially into my drive. Once I'm done, I click done. You'll see now that the camera is starting. And while it, uh, while it does so, I wanted to quickly run you through uh, the guide itself, which is really, really nicely done. You'll actually see a license plate camera together with a context one. But remember, the context camera doesn't need to be a bullet and doesn't need to be next to the LPR camera, uh, a couple of the use cases and key features in within command itself, and some frequently asked questions. 
I'll show you a couple of the um, cameras I have in the demo environment because obviously they see uh, much more action than I'll ever will in my uh, drive. And just to kind of show you that uh, because of the license plate recognition mode at night, some of them do almost look uh, pitch black. They are, again, not broken. It's just the mode itself. So you'll see here there is a car coming, uh, the barrier lifts, that's the context camera showing you how the car looked like, who was inside. And then when you click on the LPR camera itself, you'll then have able to understand what readings have happened. So at any given point, you can click on this reading and toggle between the context and the LPR camera and create archives from the button. Another way you can look at license plate recognition is by clicking the vehicle tabs and license plates. So if you have multiple cameras that do so, you just have the one screen to look through the readings, filter to them, understand if the number plates have been seen before, and obviously turn on the license plate of interest ability. And that means that if the license plate is seen again, admins will be able to get alerts, either via email, SMS, or API calls. As my camera booted up and it's up and running, I'm gonna grab my car and see if it's working. Okay, so I can already see that it's working properly. It picked up my uh, number plate all without any additional servers, any licenses whatsoever. It took me around five to 10 minutes to make this work. You actually see here a couple of uh, misreadings. Part of the reason for it is uh, the angle that the car is coming at. Um, remember that uh, there are strong guidelines uh, when it comes to that, because um, if the license plate is being read uh, at a very steep angle, then for example, in my case, a M can also be interpreted as a W. So these are some of the tips that you have to think about. The angle, the exposure, something that you can use the slider here to play around with. I'll actually maybe put that down in the middle and try again. And just overall playing with the zoom and the orientation of the camera itself. All of this and many more can be found in the guide. If you want to try it for yourself, take advantage of Vercada's free trial program. Uh, we can actually send you one or multiple of these bullet cameras so you can try them in your own environment. And if the video helped, uh, please uh, like, comment, share, and subscribe.